Hey, this is Glendon Cameron with this email. And it, it seems that this is the season for people with established businesses to be going through disenchantment. Feeling like something's missing. There is a part that's just not there. And I've come up with something. And it's helped me and it's something that I just do. I, I do it every year. And so I break down the process. Every year, usually during the summer, this period right now, I treat my business as if it's a startup. I'll give you an example. Uh, you won't be able to see this, but yeah, I did this yesterday. This is just some goals came up, you know, going with Earl Nightingale's, created a list of 20 things, you know, I, I, this is what I did. I created one through 20. And I try to think as many ideals to make my business better. I don't do this every day, but I do it here and there. And I got up to 18. <laughs> and I actually put a few, one of them, into play already. So treat your established business as a startup. Every year or every quarter if you desire. At some point, just like, you know what? Act as if you're brand new. This is a time that you really want to be brand new and these are the reasons you want to do it first of all when you start your business doesn't matter what time of year it is it grows summer which is typically a slow period for many businesses if you start in the summer your business will grow in the summer which will program your mind is there's really no slow period of time there's just periods of time where you're not doing the right thing for your business unless you are in a truly seasonal business like vacation rentals, boat rentals, something like that. Okay, that makes sense. But if you have any other type of business, eBay, Amazon, it's a matter of products. So when you're feeling that your business is stagnated or it's gone to a certain point where you're just not happy anymore, you're feeling that it, you need to cheat on your business, you need to go out and get you a new girlfriend business, you know, start another business on the side. Before you get that hoe, make sure your main bitch is pimping correctly. Which means, are you getting her the right clothes? Advertising, marketing. Are you feeding her right? Capital expenditures. I mean, there's so many things that you would do. And then seriously, just say, if I was starting this business from scratch today, what would I do? And then... This will renew your enthusiasm, which is a pivotal, pivotal part to being successful in your business. Enthusiasm and energy are extremely important. Another thing it will do is it will force you to look for new ways to do business because when you've had your business for a while, you kind of just kind of go on autopilot. Well, this is working. It's not broke. Why fix it? Sometimes you need to take a sledgehammer and literally smash it and start anew to breathe new life, new oxygen into your business, and ultimately, more money. Because every time that I do this, I experience a surge of sales, innovation, growth, and my perspective refreshes. It's like, oh, okay, this, is, you know, this, new, this old business is looking like a new chick. Mm. And it, it's, it's, I mean, it's serious. You know, I'm making jokes, but the whole deal is, your business may be fine, but the way that you are running your business may be the problem. Which is something that will come out if you treat your business as a new business. Treat it as a startup. Do all kind of research because this is part of the disruptive economy that we're in. Whenever I sit down and spend a day just researching, I find so many things that are relevant to my business, I can't implement them all. That's how much stuff's out there. So I know that it's the summer and people are taking vacation and blah, blah, blah. So what? Hustler Mindset says, I am going to get my money. I am going to earn my money. I'm going to run my business. I'm going to serve people. I'm going to give great products. I am going to make more money. And that's the thing. You know, when you do the startup thing, your startup, and it kind of like wipes the slate clean of all your past mistakes and stuff because it's like your startup. And I encourage you to make new mistakes. 
Mistakes are cool. You're going to learn stuff. It's going to help your business a lot. So understand that when you're going through the process of boredom, the blahs, the same old, same old, and you need a little more energy, don't change out your business. Just put a new coat of paint on it. Freshen it up. Do a little renovation. Maybe do a tear down rebuild on the same foundation of your business. A lot of people do that with great success. So understand, treat your business as a startup when it, times are slow and it'll just force you to do things that you normally would not do because you're thinking of it as an old, dusty, dried, brittle business. When really, it's your thought process. It's your mental process on how you are dealing with the business. Just to give you a few steps. Number one, sit down and create some really outrageous goals for your business. It has to be something that's going to kind of scare you, get your blood. You know, it's like if your business is doing 50000 and it's like, yeah, we're going to do 52000 That's not exciting. But just, hey, you know, we're going to shoot for 150000 per month. That's exciting. That's like, yeah, that's three times current income. What can we do to make that happen? People start talking. People are like, ooh, bonuses. And, you know, and all kinds of things happen. And you re-engage people that have literally checked out. They come to work every day. They get a check every day. But they're not there. They're on Facebook. They're on Twitter. Gold Candy Crush. Whatever little game because they are not engaged. Because, you know, as the leader, the lead dog, the alpha dog, it is your directive to make sure that they're engaged. It's your directive to provide an environment that they're engaged for your business because it's your business. I know many entrepreneurs want the rank and file to treat your business as if it's theirs. And some people pull it off. But really, at the end of the day, you're the one that's going to benefit the most. So you need to get cracking. And when I say crack that whip, not on your rank and file, but crack it on your own ass. Get yourself excited. Get your enthusiasm level up because it all starts and ends with you. So I don't care if you're doing eBay. I don't care if you know, you're doing Amazon. It's the summer and you're thinking about, hey, I'm going to slack off. I'm going to, no, 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 no. I'm going to take a vacation. This is the time to grow because the same problems that you're having your competition is having the exact same problem unless they're watching this channel and taking notes from the G-verse because my business grew every month, year after year, year after year. Grew. Didn't matter, summer, whatever. And it may be something where if you're on eBay, you may have to list three times as much stuff to get the same money you were making in the fall. But when you do that, two things are going to happen. You're going to have to source better. You're going to have to have better inventory management. Oh, the third thing. And you're going to have to have some type of logistics to make that happen, which is a benefit to your business. So understand, treat your business like a startup and you might actually surprise yourself and the people that you're working with. All right. This is Glendon and I'll see you on the good side.